Greetings, this is Cassandra Faye Floyd, also known as the Daughter of the Fates. And once again, I'm going to be doing this as regularly as I can just to create more content. Um, I am going to be reading an excerpt from The Great Cosmic Mother, Rediscovering the Religion of the Earth. I'm going to be reading from chapter 51, which is entitled The Machine. And um, I'm going to be reading from page 377 for those that actually follow along. If it is not to be too late for all of us, all women on a global scale have to regain our ancient ontological power, an intuitive skill for making life and death decisions, for they are always linked. Life and death are linked. To decide at the root about life, about what life is and could be, women must also know how to decide at the root about death about what death is, what death is for, what death means to life. Millions of, women's, with millions of women worldwide thrown into life and death situations of warfare, torture, mass rape, political slavery, and all the rest. Millions of third world women and of minority women in the, US, in the United States, also Black, Chicano, Native American, and Asian, have grown up being forced to make, life, make and live with heavy ontological life and death decisions. This is what the more sheltered average white woman perceives as their strength. It is strength, the often bitterly won authority of being utterly alone and responsible at the very root of things, life and death always twining around each other like poisonous snakes who are also lovers. All women and maybe the highly sheltered average white woman in America, most of all, must begin the daily practice of wrestling with these twin twined serpents. For that is how the ontological muscles are developed. That is how the sexual and the spiritual powers are intertwined. That is how females regain the evolutionary memory and habit of being cosmic women once again, i.e. that is how God Re becomes female. As women cease being passive vessels of the divine male sperm, we cease being passive vessels of male ideology, including the patriarchal priesthood's image of God. And this is prob and this is probably the ultimate challenge to the Christian Church and to all the patriarchal religions which depend for their existence on the passive receptacleness of women as handmaidens to male activity, as mothers who are relied on to inculcate the received male God image into their children's brains and nervous systems, as fertile proliferators of crowded and repressed or rich and repressive congregations. Ooch. This is the real challenge presented by feminist issues, including abortion rights to the fundamentalist religions and to the liberal ones as well. Female sexual autonomy equals female mental autonomy. And both together add up to female spiritual autonomy. When women begin to define our own lives, including being ontologically responsible for each life we choose to bring or not to bring into the world, then women will become fully functioning definers of the world and then we will fully be responsible for the kind of world, the spiritual and physical quality of world into which we choose to bring new life. And this is undoubtedly the root fear of patriarchal religions and their priesthoods and devoted followers, that someday half the world's population will get up off its knees, throw down the mops and the prayer breeds and the prayer beads and the whole dreary catechism of subliminally mumbled words and just walk out of the house of God, baby, for good, leaving no one to mop the floor and walking out into a larger world that is so inherently spiritual in its own right, just as it is, evolutionarily perceived by eyes clear at last. It will need no priest or preachers or prefabricated holy scripts to define to define or explain itself to us, the world and its life will then be self-evident, 
just as the entire living universe is self-evident. How could it be otherwise to itself? And if we are here at all, we are here as orga organic parts of the itself. And the man and woman will be as gods, as gods are grains of sand tumbled by the night sea or dust balls rolling over the church floor. And the patriarchal priesthood will be left alone with this to mop their own floors. So that is, hmm, that is the, uh, the reading, the excerpt of the great cosmic mother rediscovering the religion of the earth. Chapter 51, entitled The Machine, on page 377. If you are interested in participating in the um, book club that I've established, um, it's been going strong since July, <laughs> and it happens every first and third Saturday of the month, then go to the description in the box below. There's a link to the Facebook, uh, the Facebook book club group. If you are watching live on Facebook, just go to the Facebook group or, you know, search Facebook groups, Great Cosmic Mother Book Club, because there's two Great Cosmic Mothers, Great Cosmic Mother Book Club, and you can, um, you can join there. Uh, we do have another session coming up this Saturday, November 5th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you, again, are interested in participating in this book club, which is um, rapidly transforming into the beginnings of the temple of evolutionary emergence. We will talk more about that later. Then again, go to the link if you're watching from YouTube um, in the description below. And for those that are tuning in on both Facebook and on YouTube and any place else for that matter, um, like, subscribe, share my shits. Okay. I still am short about 500 subscribers. Watch my stuff. If you don't want to watch it, play it in the background so I can get the um, so I can get the watch hours that I need to monetize my pages. Um, so every morning, make a commitment. You understand what I'm saying? Play my shit all the way through. I don't care if you mute it. Listen to it while you're washing the dishes. Whatever, like, subscribe, share, 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 share. And um, I will be back again tomorrow. <laughs> I'll be back on again tomorrow um, with another reading, another short excerpt from the book that, oh, I should say one more thing. I read the entire book online. So if you don't own the book, um, also in the link, you can find a link to the PDF version of the book that's available for free online. Um, the book I bought mine used and um, very well used, by the way, I did all that. But anyway, The Great Cosmic Mother, Rediscovering the Religion of the Earth by Barbara Moore, illustrations by Monica Zhu. And um, so we're plowing through this book. I'm reading excerpts to try to get people interested in the book. But again, if you don't have the book, go on to my YouTube page, which is, um, I think you can still get to my YouTube page. Yes. Um, through searching either Cassandra Faye Floyd or Iapo and Gina, both come up. Um, yeah. So you can find the book, the entire book, which is, I think, let's see. Uh, 479 pages, 52 chapters. Um, you can listen to the book and that way you are, you can be ready to participate in the discussion that we have every first and third Saturday. Um, it's a zoom class that we do and I post the link, um, in the Facebook club page on Facebook. Every time we're getting ready for that, that's happening this Saturday, 9, 8, 9 a.m. Pacific standard time. This is Cassandra Faye Floyd also known as the Daughter of the Fates. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, you can email me at releaseheartcenter at gmail.com. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again later.